So the first thing that I'd like to go over is the if function. So there is an app object here that we can look at. And the app object has several properties that we can see here. Now, one of them is the unstart screen. And you can just give it a name of a screen there. Now, if you leave that blank, it's always going to bring up the very first screen that's at the top of this. I'm going to create a screen for myself and I'll call this the boss screen. It could be developer screen or something like that. And then for screen one, I'm going to bring over a little label. And inside this label, I'm going to use that app object. I'm going to say active screen dot name. Okay, so it's going to dynamically pull in the name of the screen there. Now I'm going to select that and give it a little bit of a nice background. And I'm going to select that. I'm going to copy, go over to the boss screen, paste there. Now what I would like to do for this app on start is I'm going to use this if function. So an if function expects two or three parameters. So I'm going to type if with two parentheses there. The very first parameter, it's expecting a true or false value. So what I want to do is I want to see if it's me or not. So I'll say user email that equals Aaron at our labs at us. And I want the screen that it goes to be the boss screen. I'm going to open this up a little bit. So we have two or three parameters here for the if. So this will this equal sign is what's called an operator. It takes what's on the right side and the left side almost as parameters. And it compares those two things and it's going to return a true or false value. And if it is true, it's going to return this. Otherwise, if that's not me. I want it just to go to a screen. So um, I'm going to save this, publish. Now I'll bring up a new tab. And what I'm going to hope is that I see my project there. Sometimes it takes a few moments for those new projects to show up. Now I'm just going to click on this ellipsis, these three dots, and I'm going to hit play. It says screen one. So it looks like we've got a little bit of an error here. So what should have what, happened here? What you on do, the, Darren? I don't know. Sometimes we got to figure out when code goes wrong because a lot of times code doesn't go right. Now I wonder if I spelled everything power labs. US. Okay. Now what I can do is I can select this user email and it says test. So let's just do some testing and troubleshooting. What I want to do is I want to create a few more labels here. So there's one, here's another. So for this first one, what I want to do is say user with parentheses and I'll say email. So Darren at Power Labs. Now there's some cases when I just don't type things in right. I'm going to hit control C. You know, over here in the app, it'd be it. exactly the same. So the boss screen should say boss screen. Something else I'll do is I'll, I'll look at this. Are these two things the same? And it says true. All right. So I'm going to hit save and I'm going to republish. Sometimes there is a delay, guys. Whenever you publish an app, it might take a few minutes for a user. If they were to go out right when you hit publish, chances are they're not seeing the absolute latest version. So I'll just give it a moment here and I'll go back out to. Yeah, um, I actually that happened to me just a little while ago. I was working on some nasty code and mm -hmm. not not near as hard as the stuff Lou was working on the other day, but it was still nasty. And I made some changes. And I knew that it was right. I'm like, I'm like, there's nothing wrong with this code. And it would not take it. It was redlining all over the place. And then I left and came back in and it was just beautiful. So it's just really funny okay. how sometimes it just doesn't register, you know, when you're putting that stuff in. I'm going to go ahead and click refresh and let's see if it does. Uh, oh, look at this. You're using an old version of the app. Hit refresh to the latest version. Okay, so I'm going to hit refresh. Yeah, and that's, you know, the reason why that's happening is because we are literally working live over a cloud. We're working. This is cloud development. This is 100% cloud development. It's, it's, it's really an amazing thing thing that, that we're doing here. But that's one, yeah. of the, one of the consequences of that is we've got to we've got to wait for a second sometimes. I was having a brain fart here, guys. It's not on start. That's where you put your code that you want to have executed whenever the, the app starts up. They created start a screen. start screen. I thought I was on start screen. So, yeah. so thank you, Sid. In fact, Microsoft made a change. It was probably maybe a year, year and a half ago where you could not put a navigate function. You cannot use right. navigate function within on start. So they created the start screen. And for some reason, I thought I was using the, the start screen. I'm going to go hitting it save. It is early. I don't think my caffeine's kicked in just yet. Back here, I'm going to hit refresh. There is a newer version. Okay, there we go. The boss screen. 